Hi guys, um, just wanted to talk to you briefly about what to look for in a bariatric surgery program. So I know that um, even in this day and age, a lot of times bariatric surgery um, still in some people's minds may have kind of a dubious reputation. And that is just so not the case. Um, you are now in the age of um, over a decade into the concept of centers of excellence, and now um, that has evolved into a metabolic and bariatric surgery quality improvement program. And many of those programs even have adolescent qualifications, meaning that they can um, provide very safe and very effective, comprehensive obesity treatment, including bariatric surgery for adolescents. So I just want to go over what you need to look for. Um, this is Pam. I'm um, um, also known as Barry Bell on Twitter. And um, I'm a nurse and a bariatric patient. Um, and I have worked with bariatric surgery programs for um, the last 15 years. So things that you want to look for um, is an experienced bariatric surgeon. You want to ask um, how long have you been doing bariatric surgery? How many cases have you done? Um, you know, what types of complications do you see? Um, you want to ask how many patients have you had that have passed away? Um, you want to make sure that the surgeon um, is doing your surgery laparoscopically, um, if at all possible. Uh, anytime you have laparoscopic surgery, there may be the need to have an open procedure, but you want to make sure they're able to um, do the majority of their cases laparoscopically. Um, you want to know how often you're going to see that surgeon, both before and after surgery. Um, you want to know who else is part of their program. Do they have a um, dedicated staff that works with all of their bariatric surgery patients? And that dedicated um, staff could be directly through the surgeon's office or through um, the hospital program they work with. And you're looking um, specifically for dietitians, um, maybe an exercise physiologist or physical therapist that works with the program. Um, who leads their support groups. So I guess, first of all, you know, you want to make sure that they have support groups, but who leads those support groups? Um, what are their qualifications to do so? How often do they occur? Um, what's the participation like? Um, you want to find out um, how long that bariatric surgeon and that program has been in place. Um, if they've moved around a lot, that might be something that you want to inquire more about um, just to know, you know, how long have they um, been in practice and how, um, how many times have they moved. Um, you want to also look and see, um, do they offer any patient testimonials, either uh, material that's in their office or um, online, or um, do they have any mechanism where patients have been able to share their feedback and information on their experience? And I will tell you, going to support groups um, is, a, is a perfect opportunity to ask the patients that have been through the program two important questions. If you had the opportunity to have surgery again, would you choose the same procedure again, and why or why not? And would you choose the same surgeon and program again, and why or why not? Um, that's going to be um, two key components to get a really good feel for um, the program that you're um, thinking about utilizing. And, you know, definitely go to one or two or 20 seminars, however many that you need to go to, to be comfortable with your choice of surgeon and procedure. Um, and, you know, while a lot of times insurance companies can mandate a lot of requirements um, and stuff as you're going through the process and they're going to have 
certain things that they want you to do, they can also be really um, a good resource for you as well, because a lot of the insurers now have specific quality indicators that um, surgeons and programs have to meet to be um, included in their programs as well. So, um, you know, call your insurance company and ask them or go to their website and you know, look to see, do they have certain um, additional quality requirements or indicators that um, bariatric surgeons and programs can meet as well? And, you know, check around online, um, all those different opportunities that um, you really want to look for a program that's fully accredited um, by the MBS AQIP, that's at Metabolic metabolic surgery quality um, improvement program. I'm sorry, I get tongue tied with it. And that um, the practice and the program has been in place for a while that they do offer um, comprehensive treatment options. If, uh, what is that saying that if, um, is it, if you only have a hammer, then everything looks like a nail. So if you go to a program that only offers one type of procedure, then they're going to promote that one specific type of procedure. But if you go to a comprehensive program that um, offers multiple types of treatment, then it's much more likely they're going to work with you one-on-one -on -one to figure out which one of these treatment options works the best for you. Um, so do your research, do your homework, um, read patient testimonials, go to support groups, and ask lots of questions. And go to however many seminars or, or um, participate in however many webinars that you need to to really be comfortable with your choice. Good luck.